major events and thousands of people are taking over downtown this weekend. Can the city handle it? Nine News reporter Kendall Harold is live at Yateman's Cove where one of those events is just getting started and Kendall so odd to say it's not the World Choir Games. It's not the World Choir Games, believe it or not, but it is music related and that's the crazy thing. We're here at Yateman's Cove where the Bunbury Music Festival has just kicked off really about 10 minutes ago. It started at noon. We're here at the uh, one of the main entrances and you can see Started again. I'm told this festival alone is expected to draw 15 to 20,000 people per day. That's that's each day almost 20,000 people. Whereas the World Choir Games is, is just wrapping up as well, and they are across the street, just steps away from where we are, and they're expecting thousands of people as well. Now, the U.S. Bank Arena is hosting that closing ceremony, so again, just tons of people that will be down here this evening. The World Choir Games. Uh, ends on Saturday. This will continue throughout the weekend and we've got one more event going on just steps away from both of these two musical events. That's of course the Reds in town. They're playing the Cardinals. That series kicks off tonight at 710. Again just a few blocks away from the action here. Now we spoke with the Budberry Festival organizers who tell us that they're really just excited to be part of such a huge weekend for downtown Cincinnati. I think it's just another way to showcase our city. We've enjoyed the World Choir Games for the last couple of weeks. Uh, the Reds are back in town. So there's just a lot of excitement going on downtown. We're expecting 15 to 20,000 people each day here at Bunbury Music Festival. Well, something ironic here, the word Bunbury actually means trying to get out of something boring and finding something a little more fun to do, which I don't think will be a problem for anyone here in downtown Cincinnati with these three events. Again, the Bunbury Music Festival, which just kicked off the World Choir Games, of course, last day of competition today, and the closing ceremonies tomorrow, and then the Red Series versus the Cardinals kicking off this evening. Information on all of those events at WCPO.com. Kendall Harold, 9 News, live at Yatemans Cove. All right, Kendall, thanks so much.